Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about another scenario related to Flow Builder and the scenario is we are going to copy the account team to the opportunity team whenever an opportunity is created under any account. Okay, so again just to iterate you are creating an opportunity under any account that account has some account team suppose that there are two account team now whenever a new opportunity will be created we will be copying these team members to the opportunity team this is what we are going to do now what opportunity team and what account teams are for that i have created a separate video i will be giving the link in the description so that you can watch that just to give you the high level overview about the account team and opportunity team so the teams are used to share a record with the particular user okay suppose that you have an opportunity and you wanted to work with your colleague or you with your sales manager in order to close that opportunity you can add that person as a opportunity team and then you both can work under the same opportunity and then close it opportunity close the opportunities faster that is the overview about opportunity team similarly for the account team like if you have multiple uh, people who are working for the same account you can have that uh, members under the account team for example you are working with a company called xyz and then there are multiple people in your organization including you who are contacting with multiple people on that organization so what is happening is like account will be only one but contact person will be different so you will be adding those people who are also working for that account under the account team so that they all can easily access those accounts and again these are uh, the teams are used to share the records if you don't want to create the sharing rules for the accounts definitely you don't want it to until unless your requirement is not completed using account team okay to learn more just uh, pause the video and you can uh, watch the other video which is there uh, available under the same sfdc panther youtube channel now before we go ahead and actually start implementing our flow please do like share subscribe the channel and also ask your friends to subscribe the channel so let's quickly start how to do that so the very first thing is that what we have to do is the requirement we can say for this video is must to have the enabled or uh, enablement of our opportunity team and account team okay so if you watch the previous video you will see how to enable the uh, account team and you will also get to know how to enable the opportunity team as well but if you wanted to enable account team or opportunity team from the setup search for opportunity team settings you will see here enable i'm seeing disable but you will see enable team settings just go ahead and enable add to the opportunity layouts where you wanted to have and then just enable it similarly you can do the same for account team just search for account teams and then go to the account teams it will ask you to enable and all and then if it, if it is asking you to add the teams into the layout just go ahead and add those now to create this flow you already know how to navigate just go to the setup search for flow and select flows under process automation category and click on new flow now which kind of flow it is going to be it is going to be a record triggered flow why because as soon as the opportunity is created after the opportunity is created we want that opportunity uh, we want that opportunity to have the team members okay so we will just go ahead create record triggered flow and we will select whatever the layout we want and for object what you have you will have a record is created and then it is saying that either before or after so we will select after the record is saved if you are watching this video once the winter 22 release has came uh, this ui is going to be completely different so uh, you need to just use that ui okay and then click on done now it is going to ask us the object so we will select what object is this is opportunity and uh, what condition we want it to have so we will say that account id is not null so we will say that not does not equal to null so if the opportunity is related to account then only search for account team and then create the opportunity team members so we'll click on done now we have got so far next thing what we need to do is we need to query the opportunity team members because the condition is already here so we will just click on this plus icon and then select scroll down and select get records okay 
So what we want to have, we want to have a SQL and what we will say that get account team member and I will say get record account team members, okay, or account teams. This is my API name and this is my label. Which object I wanted to query? I wanted to query account team members. So search for account team member. Now here it is asking for condition. So we will say that account ID equals, we will say whatever the record dot account ID we have. So opportunity record dot account ID. So this is opportunity ID. Now if you scroll down, it is asking how many records to save. So we will say that all the records. Why we need all the records? Because there can be multiple opportunity team members. So just click on done. We are done with this account team members. Next thing what we need to have is, we need to iterate this account team member one by one, prepare the opportunity team member and then insert that. Okay. So what we will have, we will have to create a list of opportunity team member because these are the list of records. So we will have list of opportunity team members. So to create that, just go, go ahead and click on new resource. For the resource type select variables because that is the variable and we will say variable and what we need have we will say that opportunity team list what is the data type it is going to be record because this is an object so we will select record and then what object is it is again opportunity team opportunity team member we will allow multiple values okay and just go ahead and done because it is not available for input and neither available for output so go ahead and done. Now what we will do is we will click on this plus icon and we will have to do a loop okay because it has multiple so we will iterate with the loop. So say that iterate and we will say that iterate with account account team members. So I have given the API name as account team so that I can easily identify that and what is the collection variable? The collection variable is our get record. You can see here it is saying that account team from get record account teams. So we will select that and you can select either you wanted to iterate from top to bottom or bottom to top. You can select any one and click on done. Now this is going to this flow you see here this is the circular format. This is going to iterate for each and every record for each and every account team record. Now here we need what we need to do is we need to prepare our opportunity team and then also add that opportunity team under this opportunity team list. To do that just click on plus and select assignment because what we need is we need to assign the values okay so click on assignment and we will say that prepare opportunity team before we go ahead and prepare that let's quickly talk about what all fields we can have under opportunity team object so to do that just google is for opportunity team opportunity team member soap api and then open the very first link that you got so you can see here what we have got currency iso code this is only applicable if your organization is having multiple currencies is deleted we are not going to worry about that name we are also not going to worry about that opportunity access label this is going to be the key thing what is going to be the access label for opportunity so it will always be read so whenever we will be creating the opportunity level access will already be read opportunity id we already have the opportunity id right we don't worry about this photo URL and then this is the team member role. What is going to be the team member role? So whatever the team member role is there on the account record, the same team member role is going to be there on the opportunity record. So if you go to the opportunity, open any opportunity, you will see here I have got this opportunity team related list. If I click on drop down, I will get three options at default team if I have add account team if you click here the account team will be added or add opportunity team member so we are mainly here basically we are adding account teams but with the help of opportunity team members so we will click here then it will ask team role so these are all the team roles which are there on the opportunity um, sorry account team roles then who is the user and then what is the access either read or edit okay so we are going to provide the access to uh, like we are going to use these three fields team role user opportunity access this is it okay and opportunity id definitely we are going to use that so come back to your flow here what you have to do is like 
for every account uh, account team record we must need to have every opportunity team record so what we will do is we will create a new resource for opportunity team so we will say that variable and this time we will say that opportunity team record so we have got variable opportunity team record data type again it is going to be record and the object is going to be opportunity team and we are not going to allow multiple values the reason is this is going to be the single record for every account team record so we will click on done now here what we will say is we will say opportunity team record dot we will say here we have got opportunity id this is going to be the record dot id okay so search for opportunity id you will find this id this is the one field the other field that we have is opportunity team member record dot we will have user id this is going to be there from which it is going to coming from account team so this is you can see record single variable you got current item from loop okay so you just select this and say user so you will get user id so what we say that current item from loop account team member and then select user id if you hover over you will see the complete path similarly we have got uh, opportunity access label so we will say whatever we have got opportunity access label it is going to be read okay read only then there is one more thing which is the account uh, opportunity team role okay so we will say that okay where and we will say that opportunity team role this one team member role so we will select that and it is going to be equal whatever we are getting from our single record so which is current iteration and we will say that team member role this is the one so whatever the role is there on the account it is going to be here on the opportunity team so what we did we have created like we prepared the complete opportunity team record now what we will have we will again do another assignment and we will say add account uh, opportunity team to opportunity team list that's what we say add opportunity team to list now here what we will do is we will find our list variable what is that list variable this is opportunity team list what we need is we need to add so we will say add okay and then what we have what variable we wanted to add we will say whatever variable we have opportunity team record and just add that okay so this is a list we wanted to add one more variable we just added it and click on done this process is going to happen for each and every account team record after the for loop has been completed what we will do is we will insert so just go ahead and select create records okay what we will do is we will say that create create opportunity team member records so <clears throat> how many records we wanted to create we want to create multiple records what is the collection we already have variable upon uh, opportunity team list just select that and that's it you have got uh, you have inserted now if you wanted to add a fault path just click here and select add a fault path that means if there is any error while creating the opportunity team member what we will do is we will just go ahead and create a task under that opportunity okay and we will assign that to opportunity owner and what we will say is there was some error while creating the opportunity team member record so just go ahead and manually create that okay so we'll just say that what we will do is we'll say create record and this time it is going to be create a task record we are going to select one and we will select use separate resources and then object is going to be our task object what all we need so so for first thing we need is subject okay and we will say that failed to create opportunity team member okay and next thing that we do is we will add owner id which is going to be assigned who is going to be assigning so we will say that assign is going to be record dot owner id so whoever is creating the opportunity will be assigning to that particular task okay and due date we will say okay due date is going to be of today okay so we say that okay flow and then current date so this is going to be our due date and then there is one thing which is description description is going to be whatever the error is there so we will say that flow dot fault message so whatever the error is there that will be there in the task description and then what like which record is related to this task we will say that record dot id so that means we will get that record under that particular opportunity record 
So this is what we need here and we got it. So if you see here what we've got, we have created a flow, we have created a flow which is going to run immediately, okay. Then it is going to run a SQL query to get the account teams. Then it is going to iterate with the account team, prepare the opportunity team, insert that opportunity team. If there is any error, just create a task, otherwise do nothing, okay. Go ahead and click on save and what we will uh, do is just to identify this is a record triggered flow. So we will say that record trigger and we will say this copy account team to opportunity team and go ahead and click on save. So now your flow is ready. The very first thing we'll do is we will go ahead and click on debug. So for debug it will say that escape start condition requirement we can skip that okay which opportunity record we wanted to so we wanted to select opportunity which is uh, this one that we have just opened this is the one it doesn't have any opportunity team member okay and then just click on run so it says that flow has been completed okay if you scroll down to the bottom you see here because the flow ran in rollback mode any changes to add delete or modify record has been rolled back but if you see create record this is the one right it is saying that the uh, create record okay values and this is how the opportunity team has been created okay so now let's quickly try to activate this flow and test it so we'll go ahead and activate this and let's quickly go ahead and clone this opportunity and this is the first thing we'll talk about if this particular account has opportunity team members or not so we will open account this is burlington textile corporation of america if you have any other account make sure that whatever the account you are trying to test that account has at least one account team member okay you can see here i have two account team members so i can just go ahead and clone the same opportunity this is cloned i don't need anything else i will go ahead and click on save so now you can see here what we got is we here uh, we are able to get but only one team record which is say that security control the other team record is not here and why that is the case we will uh, quickly debug that so if we see our flow right here in the for loop you can see this for loop is actually going to work like this not this way okay so what we are what mistake we have done is we are first assigning the variable to the list and then preparing the record but actually what we have to do is first we have to prepare the record and then assign that to the list so just to make sure that for loop in the flow is always going to run this way okay this is the mistake that we made so if we debug this flow right we will see that we are only getting one record over here as well so if you select this uh, opportunity which we used to debug if you scroll down for every single thing right uh, at the end if you see there is only one record and the other one it says that null the reason it is saying that null because first it added okay and then it basically prepared the record so what we have to do is we have to first prepare the record and then add the team to the list to do that how you do is you just go ahead and edit this click on save as click on save and then just go ahead and remove this just delete this element and click on add just add assignment and you will say here add team member to list and here whatever the list you will find you just go ahead and click on add and whatever the record you have okay and save it now what you do is you prepare you add and then you again go for the next record go ahead and debug this record now if you scroll down now you see there are two opportunity team member records okay that means this is working fine now we will go ahead and activate this flow and come back here and we say okay clone this record and i will make sure it is uh, the name is changing to two go ahead and save it so this time we are able to see the two records which are coming up clearly okay so that is why the reason was we were not able to get that okay so this is it for this video thank you for your time Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask or put into the comment video uh, comment section. And also, if you have any scenario related to flow, please email me the scenario for, uh, in the mentioned email which is there under the description of the video. Thank you for your time. And again, if you haven't liked or uh, shared and subscribed the channel, please do that. Thank you.